The Ministry of Agriculture continues to explore various avenues in developing the local coconut industry. Minister Honorable Ezekiel Joseph recently participated in a regional forum that discussed the results of a survey on the industry commissioned for a Caribbean project designed to help the development of the coconut industry. Phase 1 of the project, which spanned 2015 to 2018, saw approximately 5,000 farmers sourcing planting materials from more than 20 seedling nurseries established and or refurbished across the Caribbean. More than 2,000 farmers and 474 extension officers were trained in industry management, pest management, crop production, processing, trade finance, and group dynamics. Additionally, 11 private public platforms were established and a new Caribbean-wide standard for packaged coconut water developed. Noting the challenges faced by coconut water vendors, Chairman of the National Stakeholders Platform, Kenny Danielle, said the first is now to create a coconut vendors cooperative. There is not an organization that takes care of them, no. so they can be pushed. And today they push one direction, and then next time they push another way. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm be, uh, marketing board is supposed to be demolished. Right. What happens to them? All right? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things um, I was looking at, and then because of that I said, hey, we need to form an, an association or a cooperative that can address your needs. Okay. And so far we, have, we are doing good as far as the cooperative is concerned. We have the bylaws, we have um, the registrar and his team on board. Mm. And uh, I must say that I was very surprised and, you know, when I saw the, the um, amount of effort that they put in this whole cooperative development for, this, for the coconut vendors okay. and stakeholders. The European Union and Cari Forum funded project received a further investment of 6 million euros to develop the region's coconut industry in phase two. Having commenced in 2019, phase two of the project focuses on improving the competitiveness of farmers and strengthening the coconut value chain. Climate change, health and nutrition, increasing investments and value-added product development will be emphasized. Daniel explained that St. Lucia too will be intensifying efforts to boost the coconut industry from the raw products to agro-processing and export. The platform will also be working with outside entities where possible in that vein. Some ventures include establishing MOUs with landowners to grow coconut trees outside of St. Lucia, as well as the establishment of a venue dubbed Tutbagai Coco. Recently, uh, somebody said to me, um, Kenny, you don't know there's this food court yes. in, in Rosalie, obviously Bank of St. Lucia? I said, no, well, I don't really go travel up to the north because there's traffic jam and all these kind of things. I sit down. Yeah. And then when I went, I was surprised. I said, okay. Let me see what we can do. So I went to the Grosier Council and, and uh, spoke with the mayor, and he was very uh, accommodating. And then he said, hey, this is an excellent idea. And just like um, Peterson Francis and Castries, he said to me, you're solving all our problems because you're bringing them together. Mm -hmm. And then once you bring them together, then we don't have the problem of roadside vending again. Okay. We still have people who want the, the traditional coconut water. They want to see it. Mm -hmm. But eventually they'll understand that, hey, this is done under sanitary conditions. Okay. So, for example, if we get um, some space in Otsa, you can deliver your thousand coconuts. We'll schedule everything. You deliver your thousand coconuts today. Somebody else deliver a thousand tomorrow. And we go along working with the coconuts and doing what we have to do. Mm -hmm. you know? okay. So eventually you now sell maybe a thousand coconuts every day. So you get to, to buy cocoa, get gash, to everything. buy everything up there. Everything. Wow, wow. The project, which will run until 2023, will be implemented by the International Trade Center in partnership with the Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, CARDI, and other regional and national partners. The project also aims to enable the participating Caribbean states to capitalize on rapidly growing global demands for coconuts. The global trade in coconut water alone is projected to grow by more than 25% in the next five years.